What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. And today we're gonna to be talking about doing a clay bar treatment to the Maserati, or to any car. But in this case, we're gonna be doing on the Maserati Ghibli. This particular kit is through Meguiar's. Um, they have, I think mothers have one, and there's a whole bunch of other ones, but this is the one we're gonna be using today. Um, it's not sponsored. It'd be great if it was, but it's not. Uh, so I just picked this up. I haven't done any clay bar treatment on my on any of my cars, so I wanted to see what the results would be um, and check it out. So let's see what we get. All right, so the first thing you have to do is make sure you have a clean surface. So I'm going to wash the car. Um, it's pretty clean now, but with the pollen and all the dust and everything, I'm going to make sure we have a clean surface before we start. All right, so car is all clean. So now let's check out the clay kit by Meguiar's. See what we have. We have a microfiber cloth, quick detailer, and we have three clay bars. So let's break down what this stuff really is. What is a clay bar? A clay bar is basically a, it is ideal that you have a pretty decent paint job and clear coat already, because it's not gonna do miracles, but if you run your hand, like I just washed this car, right? and I'm running my hand over the surface real light and you can feel grit and grain in it and it's kind of bumpy, right? So the object of the clay bar is to rub it over the clear coat and it extracts and gathers all of the contaminants, those bumpies. When you're done with it, what it should do is feel like glass. This is a fairly new car, 2015. So let's see what we can get from this. Ideally, after you do the clay bar, you do a wax following that. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is gonna open up the package. Once you open up your package, you have your clay bar. And what you're gonna do with that is, you're gonna fold it, twist it, and just kind of knead it into like a burger patty type thing. This almost feels like Play-Doh, the consistency of Play-Doh. So if you're familiar with that, then you'll know how this feels. So we're just trying to stretch it out and get it into a shape to where it can kind of fit in your hand. Maximize the surface. Once you have that kind of in a patty form, that's a horrible patty if it was a burger, but for this purposes, it gets the job done. All right, now we have to use the spray that came with the kit to keep it lubricated because you always want to run it on the paint with lubrication, never dry. So you don't go on this dry, you go with lubrication and plenty of it to make sure that the surfaces are lubricated and it can run smoothly. Cause you're not pushing down into it. You're more so just kind of gliding it across the surfaces. So let's get started. So we use our quick detailer to spray on the surfaces of the car. I'm gonna do the hood first. So I probably do like break it into thirds, do the first, third, middle, then the other side, the right side. Let's see what we do. So let's get started. And I'm just gently rubbing it back and forth. You can feel the contaminants on the hood. As it starts to pick up the contaminants, you feel less and less resistance. Look at that. I just washed this car, literally, and this is what is on the surface of the car. All that contamination. And you want to remove that because in the event that you go to wax, this stuff could 
start spreading and scratching up your clear coat paint, etc. So it's a good idea to get all this out. And this stuff that you really can't get out without this clay bar. This is what you should do to your car, probably once a year. And when you have this, you wipe off this surface here. And you fill it, whoa, smooth as glass. No bumps, no anything. It's like night and day. And like I say, this is a relatively new car, so Imagine an older car, how much contamination it has. So we're gonna continue this on for the whole hood and then the rest of the car. So when it's time to do a new surface, you can just fold it and re-twist it back into each other. So that way you can get a new surface for the next sections. You can even hear the, the contaminants when you're running it across, and then once it's gone, it's silent. Really, really dirty. All right, when you're done, wipe it off. Man, that's crazy. Super smooth. All right, guys, so I have completed doing the clay bar on the whole car. Came out pretty good. You'd be surprised how much contamination you actually have on a vehicle after doing the clay bar um, application. Pretty easy, pretty time consuming, but nevertheless, it is definitely worth it if you wanna get the best out of your paint and out of your clear coat and the appearance of your car. So. Thanks for checking out my video. Hopefully it brought you some value. If it did, please give me that thumbs up, click that subscribe button and get the notification bell so you can tune into future episodes of Drive Talk Car. Until next time, see ya.